Welcome back to the shop. As promised, when I said last time, the next time that we're together and we show you guys a video, it's going to be a video with paint in it. Now it might not be the all the paint. It's going to be all the paint. It's going to be, I don't know. We'll find out. But, what do you think? Looks nice and shiny. I was away for work a little bit. I got to share the video with the boys and sanding on the GoPros. But um, tonight we're going to finish up a couple of things with the sanding, and we're gonna throw some. We're gonna wipe it down, and we're gonna finish up what we started the other week with under the wheel wells um, and the rust encapsulator, and. Um, then we are going to move on to the engine bay, which is all ready. It's just about there. All we got to do is wipe it down, look for any other spots that might need something. Maybe we missed it, and then we're going to spray. The weather is going to cooperate, I think, this weekend. Um, today is Monday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, and I think Thursday and Friday, it's supposed to be in the mid-50s outside, and that's like just warm enough that we can spray one night and then it won't get too cold overnight we won't have to run the heat all the time so that's what we're aiming for let's see if we can get it done gotta get the s-tone rag and wipe off All right, well, that was uh, pretty good so far. We got uh, it all wiped down. We got the sanding all done and we sprayed it with, we put two coats of uh, chassis black under the wheel wells. So let me show you what we got. Um, that's a good night's work here if you ask me. So let's see here. That's what we're looking at now. So it's not perfect. I mean, we're not going for a rest restoration. We're going for preservation and um, revival, I guess it's called. But uh, but that that's good. That will that will delay the rust for a good amount of time. We got it on the other side over here too. Down under here. So that I like it. And then uh, we will come back today's, I don't know what today's Tuesday. We're going to come back in a couple of days and we are going to get at that. So stay tuned. Actually, um, it's going to be in this video. So for you, it's just going to be like a minute or two. 
for us, I don't know when it's going to be, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after that. This will come as a shock to almost absolutely nobody that knows me. But I have no idea what I'm doing. More specifically, um, these paints that, um, that we're going to be using to do the paint. Um, there's like formulas and distance and flash off times and all kinds of different mixes. Uh, that I've got to figure out and I have no idea how to do them. So um, I'm going to take some time tonight. Oh, also I have a spray gun. I have two different spray guns um, That we have here one of them this one. I've used a bunch of different times. Um, I use that on my Jeep actually um, it's Well, it's cheap and siphon feed and the siphon feeds are I know they're not perfect. They're not great and they they, they are really um hard to get a good good surface and if you look at my jeep real closely from like say a hundred feet away you can tell that the paint is terrible um so i don't really want to use that one and i got this one um which is also a cheapo a central pneumatics um and that is what we're going to try to use but i've never used it um it's my brother's actually and um we're going to take a little bit of time to try to figure out how it works Okay, so this is me demonstrating. Like, okay, I I know I don't I, I know I don't know what I'm doing. I'm over here trying to try trying this gun out, trying to figure out how it works, and um, there's something wrong with it. So I'm no expert, but it's not supposed to drip. And um, when you when you pull the trigger, it's not supposed to do that. So. Um, So we're going to have to order a gun. Because I don't think I really want to use the um, siphon feed one. I know that gun. I know how to use the gun. And I don't like doing it because I never get a good spray. So I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try to order a different gun. Or pick one up tomorrow or something. We'll be back. Later. Well, it is Saturday. And with any luck... Uh, we will have some paint for you today, and um, with any luck, you'll have this video tomorrow, or somewhere around there. Get this guy in here. Um, I did not get up early enough this morning to get the shop warm, um, to get paint on before basketball games, but that's okay. And the reason that's okay is because we've gotten all dusty again. So I've got to get some rags and air gun and I've got to get this thing cleaned up and ready to paint. So we just got to get the dust off of it. We got to wipe it down, get all the dust, dust, grease, grime, all that stuff off of there and prep it so that we have a really good surface. It's already been sanded. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. hours and I've got it nice and warm in here. Um, I've got the uh, paint surface. It is right there. 
right around 70 degrees. Let's see if I can get you. So with that being said, we are ready, mostly. Um, I'm gonna finish wiping this down and then I have to mix paint. I thought I had a stack of filters to filter the paint. Can't seem to find it. Might have to run to the store for that, um, but uh, we're real close. This is happening a day. It might not be good, we don't know. Okay, found the filters. They were in the other box with the other paint gun. What we'll use these for is after we mix up our paint, we will put these on top of there. Like this. And then we'll pour our paint through it so that just in case there's any dirt or debris or paint gook or whatever, we don't try to send that through the gun. Um, I have very little experience with this, but I, uh, I, I've got the basic knowledge, I guess. We're, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to do what we can here. We're almost there. How convenient is it? You're right here. <laughs> that looks good, I think. Hopefully, darker, but that's because I think this uh, stirrer has a uh, black previously used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, 8 ounces, which is basically half of the pint. Um, and then I'm going to do, it. so this is a mix, 2 of the base coat to 1 of the reducer. So we're going to do 8 uh, of the base coat and 4 of the reducer. That's right, right? I think that's right. Eight to four is same as four to one. No. See, that's math. I should be doing math. If I do two, I need one. Yeah. If I do four, I need two. If I do eight, if I do six, I need three. If I do four, six, eight, I need, yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Math up. <laughs> oh, here goes nothing. Oh, that's, that should be enough to cover what we need to cover. I think. That is eight ounces, and now we want um, four ounces of reducer. So that's two to one, right? Eight. Two to one. <laughs> four to two. Six to four. Yeah. Good heavens. It's like math isn't... You're the one that's in school still. You should be knowing these math problems. And... Not gonna be enough paint, is it? That's okay. We'll get a couple of coats out of it, and then we'll mix up more. Got a little bit. Ooh, moose, move, dog, crazy dog. Right. There we go. And we just gotta pour this guy in here without making a big mess of it.
Could have just mixed that up in the gun. Oh, the gun's tipping. The gun's tipping with the weight in it. Oh, okay. Go over there. You hang out there. And I'll take you and put you on here. And then we have paint gun. Oh, it's tipping. Oh, don't tip on me. Come on now. That's not nice. There we go. Stay. 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 Plug in over here. This other air hose spot. Because I've got my filter on the other air hose spot. Although I'm using the same old dirty hose. But I have the same color. How much do how much of the pieces do we want on that? All of them, give me all of the pieces. Basically two coats up there, but yeah, two coats up there, down the bottom and uh, one coat. It's coming together pretty well. Uh, I'm just mixing up. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me or not because of that fan, but I'm mixing up the last little bit of uh, the first round here. I'm going to leave a little bit in the pint for if I have to do touch-up work later. Um, and I'm gonna spray the last little bit of the second and kind of partial third, because I'm gonna get that top layer quite a bit more than the rest of it. Um, and then uh, then it's time to move on to clear coat. Um, hopefully it, it turns out pretty well. Uh, two regrets I can see right away. Should have removed the brake lines and the brake booster. I can't get in behind there. It's gonna kind of look crappy in there, but it's gonna be covered ish and if we ever have to take that stuff out we can redo it then because we can kind of get at that with the engine in there that's it we're gonna keep going Well, that is looking pretty good. Um, we have about three coats of base down, and that is drying a little bit. I just cleaned the gun, and I am going to start putting, mixing up some clear with hardener, and we're going to start spraying that, and then um, I'm get about an hour. I'm going to be done. My back is killing me. I don't know why. I don't know what I did to it. I've been to the chiropractor yesterday. I thought it was getting a little better, but this is not helping, but let me get it done.
the clear coat is um, four to one. So four parts clear and one part hardener. Um, I don't see anything about thinning it. So we're just gonna go, oh, we used a full pint before plus the thinner. So we're just gonna fill to 16. Now we're gonna use a pint of um, clear. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna add um, four ounces of hardener. And then we're gonna spray that on. And hopefully it's enough. I don't know if that picture does that justice or not. And I don't know if you can hear me because of that darn fan. But it turned out not too bad, in my opinion. I'm going to take the masking off of this thing and I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> I'm creating my hate so much. Oh, it looks great. What do you think? It looks nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Did you put on the clear coat or is yes. this nice? That's a little, that's like two and a half coats of clear. There are some areas where I put some extra on. So it is done. I took the masking off the sides. This is nice. very exciting. It's exciting? It's very exciting. We finally <laughs> completed don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> one whole step. <laughs> we we finally completed a whole step. Now this, this is, the, I want to I want to show you something, okay? I want you to see. Right there. You know yet? You know it? Watch your hair. Don't get your hair in. The... You know when you were saying about feathering? Yeah. Feathering. I know I did a good Do job. Do you see any annoying. lines? No. No. Imagine what had happened if you hadn't feathered it. It would all look like this. Mm -hmm. You see those lines? Yeah. When you open the hood up and you oh, see. Oh, like right here too. Yeah. You see those? Yeah. Yep. When you open the hood up, you're not going to see us because we're under the radiator. You open the hood up and you're like, oh, look at that nice, oh, what is it? Why is it, what it, see? That's why we take that extra time to do that feathering. Mm -hmm. And it was worth it, because that's gonna be hidden by the engine, but it still looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Uh, uh. I really wanna touch it. What do you think, kid? You wanna touch I really it? I wanna touch it. I'll touch it right 
here because that'll get repainted when we paint the outside. It's going to be sticky. <laughs> it didn't come off. It didn't come off. Well, it's, uh, it's flashed off now, so it, it, it'll just take your fingerprint and you'll put a fingerprint in there. Oh, yeah, I see it. You see it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> it's my Jeep anyway. It is your Jeep. Now you have it has your fingerprint in it. Yep. Alright, let's see here. Let's try to get you in frame. Alright. Alright. I don't know if I'll be in frame or not. I don't know if they can hear us. Can you guys hear us? I'll take that as a yes. Well, I promise that the next time that we did a video, it would be paint. And I didn't include the video of the boys sanding the, the lenses because that was, didn't count. It just didn't count. <laughs> well, we got paint. Um, and this video is probably already way long, so we're going to cut it off there. We are super excited that you guys are coming back to watch this. We are at a stage, like she just said, we're at a stage where it's on to the next step. And the next step for us is probably going to be pulling the engine out of the donor car, pulling the axles out of the donor car, and starting to stab that stuff back in here. I don't know what sequence comes next. It's kind of going to be a little bit on my time to lift big, heavy things and her time to help me lift big, heavy things. And... Um, we don't know what's coming next, but it's definitely, definitely a good spot because we can keep going on this a little bit at a time, but it's going to start making some big progress soon. And I hope you come back and watch it with us. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We're going to try and do another video as often as we can. I can't promise every week because reasons. So Life. That's life. Fine. She's starting to play, and I have to work, and my job is taking up some of my time outside of my time. And blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's it. Like this video. Like this video. Subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. That's a lot of work. My back hurts. Thank you. Let's go to the house. Okay. Let's go get a shower.